Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 homebrew news and much, much more. So there has been a lot of different things happening in the PlayStation scene really just over the past day or so. So I decided to put out a video of a talking and at least touching on a number of those things that's recently came out to kind of keep you updated on where things are at in the scene right now. So the very first link that I want to talk about here today is, is that we finally got the video of the Blu-ray disc Java Sandbox Escape by the Flow Zero being released on hardware.io. So in this 30-minute video, the flow walk through the slides that we've already seen and that we've already kind of been able to digest. Uh, you do get his words with it, which is obviously very helpful. I don't see where this video is going to help as far as the scene and progress of it. We primarily already have everything that we need based off of the Hacker One report as well as the BDJB ISO images that we have right now that we can go ahead and play with. What I did find fairly interesting in this is, is that there was a demo and this was what I was looking the most forward to seeing. So let's just go ahead and let's play this demo. And I've already watched it, so I'll be able to walk you through a few things. And so here is the part where the demo kicks in. As you can see, there's a PlayStation 5 here on the table. This is more than likely running 4.03. There is BD-JB that's inside of the PlayStation 5, and he used a custom icon here, which he mentions during the talk. So there is where he mentioned it and started to run it. And what we will see at the beginning is, is that there is a little pop-up notification. It says, hack the planet at hardware.io. And it says, exploit in the kernel in 10 seconds. Now, unfortunately, this also shows us that the kernel exploit is not as stable as the user land exploit, which was ran at the beginning. And even in this instance, you will see that this actually fails and he has to restart it and try it again. I'm going to go ahead and skip a little bit forward to that where he's closing it out. And now let's just go ahead and see the pop-up notification. And in this instance, it actually does work. And we should see it pop up on the screen here. And this is where we have all of the famous screenshots showing the exploit was successful. And there really wasn't that much more to add to that video. Definitely check it out. It will be linked into the description below. The next thing that I wanted to bring up was, was that I have a list of all of the different ISO images that are available for the BD-J implementation. There is a video that you can watch if you want to get a little bit further information of some of the ISO images and the payloads that were mentioned below. The most notable one that I added in here was actually this one right here. So this was a payload that creates an FTP server. And Sistro worked on this with Control Execute. So it's definitely of higher quality because Sistro was involved. This one also auto-resolves the IP address, whereas with the original one that came out, you had a manual IP configuration. One other thing to note, and this is information that came from Echo Stretch, is, is that if you are using this version, you will want to use the original implementation if you burn it to a Blu-ray disc, which would be this ISO right here. And then as far as running this FTP server, Echo Stretch made a video on this where he shows it actually running. And so I'm going to hit the play button here. And just like last time, there is a payload that has to be injected. In this instance, it's just running this payload right here, this FTP.bin. There is the pop-up that says there's a PS4 listening on this port number. 
Again, this is ported by Control Execute and then Sistro. And then if we go ahead and we fast forward a little bit, Echo Stretch connects to his PlayStation 4. And right here, he shows you what he actually has access to. So it's not a lot of different things, but at least it shows you that you can FTP into a PlayStation 4, and this was a PlayStation 4 9.00. So you can look through this video, definitely some uh, trying out which folders are available and which ones are not. But again, a very early implementation of the FTP using the BD-JB. And then so I saw this tweet over here, and it was games on PS5 have the installation very different from PlayStation 4. And what this is here, this is Astro's Playroom that's on the PlayStation 5. And this has caused quite a bit of folks how they did this. And all of this information was shared inside of this tweet. So I'll explain how I did it. I got a hard drive formatted on the PlayStation 5 as extended. So basically on the PlayStation 5, just get a USB hard disk drive and then format it as extended storage. And then, you know, you can move a game to the extended storage. And then it, he connected the hard drive to the PlayStation 4, which was already running a jailbreak. And then finally opened FTP and you will see the files. And so here is one of the file listings. So this is a listing of all of the files for that one game here. Obviously, there is a number of different PKG files uh, that was inside of this. But for the most part, there isn't a lot, you know, to kind of come out of this as far as, you know, the files that were actually on the game itself because they're going to be very different depending on which game you actually try to dump. And so obviously, if you've taken the game from a PlayStation 5 and you've been able to see what's on it on your jailbroken PS4, what happens if you take the contents of all of these files and then you copy them back and put them on your PlayStation 5? Will it work? At least it will work with the Astro's Playroom game. And there was obviously some instructions to reverse it. And so downloaded the files or you can copy the files off yourself. Format an external hard disk drive as extended on the PlayStation 5. Again, connect that hard drive to the PlayStation 4 jailbreak. Open the FTP and go to mount ext0 and copy the files there. Disconnect it and connect it to the PlayStation 5 and then move the game to the PS5 internal memory and see if it works. And this does seem to work for at least the Astro game. Now, I don't feel like this is going to be something that's going to work for other games. But at least for right now, that's the only game that's currently available. And you can go ahead and find and download that Astro Playroom game. And then the last thing to talk about is just that there is a new Golden version 2.3 B1 that is definitely going to be coming out shortly. And we can see from this, you have your title ID as well as the version number, which is something that I personally, that was the only reason that I used Orbis was to get the title IDs of my games. Um, so I've never... You know, that was the only reason I ever used Orbis Toolbox before. But it will be great to see that this is included in Gold Hen 2.3b1. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!